Hello and welcome to lesson five of the first steps theory frenzy tutor book. In this lesson you will learn about the sharp sign, the key of C major and G major, the G major scale and then you'll be going over some hints on how to write scales correctly for the exam. So for the first time you're introduced to the sharp sign. So the sharp sign, uh, this one that you've got on this example is the F sharp because the little box is clearly seated on the F line in the treble clef. You're then told to try writing some of these sharp signs so just make sure when you do write this that you do put the box clearly centred on the top line which is your F line. So the key of C major has no sharps and flats in. And so the scale of C major has no sharps or flats in. But when you go over to the key of G major, you will notice that it's got an F sharp in its key signature. And so, straight away, you'll know the piece is in the key of G because it has an F sharp in the key signature. And then you've got a little exercise that shows you the scale of G major. So again, you've got your eight notes with the scale going up to the top and then down again. First in the treble clef, then in the bass clef. Then you're asked to practice uh, writing out the scale of G major in the treble clef on the stave below. A little exercise then follows where you're asked to name a piece with one sharp in and say what key it's in and then a piece with no sharps or flats in and say what key that is in. have two examples of pieces. The first one has no sharps or flats in and the second one has F sharps written in. And so uh, the question asks you to name the key of the piece. So the last section here talks about hints on writing scales for the exam. So for the examination you may be asked to write a scale with a key signature or without a key signature. You may be asked to write a scale either ascending, going up, or descending, going down. If a scale is to be written with a key signature first, you must write the clef and then the key signature. Then start on the key note. So obviously, if you're writing with a key signature of G, you're going to put an F sharp in the key signature and you'll start on the key note, which is the G. And so here, you've got an example of the ascending G major scale and then you've got an example of the descending G major scale. And then it says, draw the treble clef, then write the scale of G major descending and write in minims. And that completes... Lesson 5.